since I know that I'm the first one, uh, I would like to thank uh, to Adeline and Davide for great presentation, uh, presentations that they provided and for um, enabling, enabling us to see what we are really, um, what we should do in the next period to be more proactive. And uh, I would like to use the opportunity and whenever we need some support, we will feel free to contact them and uh, search for advices and whatever we need. Uh, hopefully we will not be very boring. <laughs> so um, Natasha, maybe you can run the presentation and I will um, just inform when you have to switch the slides. Uh, so my name is uh, Dragana Radulovic and I'm uh, working at the Office of Vice Rector for Science Research and University Development at the University of Banja Luka and Goran Latinovic is the head of the office. Um, I will present our beautiful university. I can say um, University of Banja Luka is not very old university. Last year we have celebrated uh, 45th anniversary. Uh, meaning that we are established in 1975. We are not old university, but uh, throughout these uh, 45 years of uh, um, running the university, we gained certain experience, I think. Um, until 2007, uh, we had uh, faculties as uh, legal entities. And in 2007, we have been integrated as uh, uh, one legal body. So we have uh, our faculties as organizational units. Um, now we have 18 uh, organizational units, eight, 17 faculties and Institute of Gen Genetic Resources that is also uh, organizational units, uh, not performing educational part, but performing research uh, at the university. Um, According to the new law, they are now members of the university. Uh, we have around, for, uh, the, here says, for 147 study programs on all three cycles. And uh, we have more than 15,000 students at the moment. Uh, when it comes uh, to the employment, um, uh, we have around 1,500 employees. And from that number, around 800 uh, researchers, meaning uh, academic staff, and the rest is uh, administration, supporting administration. Uh, the next, please. Uh, yes, um, the university has been very active uh, with regards to all um, um, uh, declarations and we've been also very uh, involved in different projects. So in 2015, we gained uh, HR logo uh, in excellence of uh, research. Uh, we have actually signed the declaration, uh, uh, the European uh, Research Charter and the Code of Conduct for Researchers that we actually are supporting our researchers to have all rights as uh, researchers in uh, European uh, area. And we are also a member of the European University Associ uh, Association and we have signed uh, Magna Carta Universitatum. And the next, please. Um, we are, here is the list of all 17 faculties. And as you could see, we covered almost all areas of uh, research and Faculty of Agriculture is one of the faculties uh, that is uh, among very active uh, with regards to projects uh, at the university. Uh, the university itself is located in two campuses uh, on both sides of River Verbas and uh, at both campuses we have uh, student dormitories. Uh, campus where the Faculty of Agriculture and the rectorate of the university is located is uh, uh, situated in the beautiful place which is actually protected area since 2012 and it covers territory of uh, around a little bit less than uh, 30 hectares so the area is protected and we, we are working at really beautiful uh, environment since uh, some of you have never been in uh, our town or even our own country. Uh, certainly we hope that during the lifetime of the uh, project itself, you will be able to come and we will be able to host all of you uh, at our beautiful uh, campuses. Um, the next, please. Uh, 
uh, we have signed uh, at the university level many agreements. Uh, we have been part of many uh, projects, as you could see, um, 89 Tempus projects, many CEPUS program, Erasmus Plus uh, projects. And uh, we have been members of many associations. Organ we organize many seminars. Uh, you are, uh, I mean, in our uh, school year, we have uh, so many round tables, summer schools provide uh, also uh, scholarships for the students, uh, organize lectures of visiting professors and other guests. And uh, we have uh, uh, we have cooperation with uh, many governments and embassies at uh, international level. Uh, but what is the most important, I would like to emphasize the um, uh, in, uh, research part and uh, uh, Office of the Vice Director for Science and Research is our involvement in um, in uh, projects uh, such as projects from FP program and now Horizon 2020, hopefully Horizon Europe uh, that will come, that started this year. Yeah. So the next please, uh, here you can see uh, the uh, names, uh, actually the projects that are uh, active at the moment in university. We have very diverse, uh, um, let's say, net, uh, umbrella of projects, uh, starting from the uh, projects uh, related with agriculture, uh, faculty of economy, uh, and what is also one of the newest projects is uh, national initiatives for open science in Europe. And uh, I would like to add to Davide as part that uh, when it comes to open access, that University of Banja Luka is uh, uh, completely embraces uh, the open uh, science and uh, a whole concept of open science science. So our university last year uh, joined uh, the European Open Science Cloud. So uh, hopefully as the only institution actually from Bosnia Herzegovina. So we hope that there will be no problem in um, following the rules of open science and open access. Um, certainly our office will provide uh, and Rectorate itself will provide all institutional support uh, that is needed. Uh, and we would like to uh, congratulate uh, coordinators, uh, uh, namely Professor Markovic and his team uh, for uh, dealing, uh, this is our, as, is, as it was mentioned, this is our first coordinating project. Uh, so far we have been only um, partners at our consortia, at other consortia. And now this is a big step for uh, establishing and strengthening our own capacities at the university. So if there are some things that we are maybe not very experienced, hopefully you will not uh, take it very strictly. And we certainly hope that we will uh, have uh, not problems, but uh, if some obstacles appear, we will be able to overcome it. So thank you so much. And if you have any questions and whatever, we, we are on your disposal. Thank you. Nato. OK, thank you, Dragana. My name is uh, Natasha Cirekovic. Uh, I'm a former CHM uh, Land and Water Management Resource student, and uh, I'm a team member from University of Banja Luka. So I will uh, more closely present uh, Faculty of Agriculture. Um, what I want to say first that we are a project coordination institution and that we are fully responsible for the achievements of the project uh, objectives uh, and uh, their implementation. That means responsibility for the institutional context over the national and international institution and liaison with uh, EC. Then day-to-day -day implementation along the 36 months of the project and monitoring the, the action is implemented properly. And we have responsibility for the organization implementation of the overall project activities and for technical, financial, administrative and communication dissemination aspects of the project. Uh, project task that we are leading uh, is WVP1 coordination management, uh, project coordination and communication uh, 
then technical and financial management and reporting. VP uh, two, capacity building for research related to summer school task. And uh, WEP five, communication dissemination, task, uh, tasks, uh, communication dissemination plans and standard, then uh, preparation, dissemination and promotional and uh, training material, developing uh, public digital information and knowledge base focusing on good research collaboration and geographic thematic aspects and the organization of the international workshops. When it's come to the Faculty of Agriculture, um, I have to say that uh, the faculty is established in 1992 and that uh, all uh, three cycles uh, are, uh, are uh, organized as bachelor, master and doctoral studies and our academic staff consists of 70 university professors and teaching assistants. Uh, we have uh, 12 departments and uh, six institutes at the faculty. Previous experience uh, are over 40 implemented international and uh, 100 national projects. We also have international scientific symposium, AgroRes, and we are publishing national scientific agronology journal. Uh, also, we are coordinating uh, international projects, Smart Water, our project, and Viral project. Apart from that, uh, faculties has been engaged in various international projects as FAO, ENDP, COST, uh, Erasmus, and uh, Horizon projects. Uh, uh, when it's come to facility and tools of the faculty, we have six uh, institutes, 17 laboratories, two computer rooms, and uh, out of the campus area Republic Experimental Education Center. Practical teaching uh, uh, and training for our students is uh, organized uh, as uh, at the campus area as well as the research uh, center. Uh, when it's come uh, to the research uh, Republic Experimental Education Center, uh, it is not in the campus that Dragana already presented, uh, which uh, is situated in city center. This uh, uh, education center is 30 minutes away uh, from the city and it's located on the area uh, on 50 hectares. Uh, you can see the, the map of different plots that, uh, that are in the education center and uh, down you can see coordinates uh, and uh, with the location of the center. Uh, uh, Republic uh, Education Center has a lot of experimental uh, research uh, uh, and uh, yearly we have crop days and on these uh, photos uh, in this slide you can see a different crops uh, uh, and results of the experiments. Uh, the most important crops that, uh, that are investigated uh, uh, here are uh, sunflower, wheat and uh, maize. Uh, finally, our team. Uh, our team is presented uh, with our project uh, coordinator, Mihaila Markovic, Dean of the Faculty, Zlatan Kovacevic, Vice Dean, Jel Kovashko, Project Assistant, uh, me, uh, Early State Researcher, Juraj Haider, and uh, team members that are also in Land and Water Management Resources, uh, Nevena Stojakovic, uh, Milan Šipka, uh, Mladen Babic, and Mariana Kapovic-Solomon. Thank you.